Military from all around the world try to make the very best uniforms, armor, weaponry, and vehicles to keep their troops safe while they fight for their country. The United States alone has spent $718.69 billion on its military. This includes uniforms, tanks, jeeps, and any kind of surveyor or first aid technology. And much of it looks like it came straight from Star Wars or a superhero movie. All that, as evidenced by America's expenditure, doesn't come cheap. Today, we'll look at some of the world's most expensive military uniforms. Hello and welcome back to our channel. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to ensure you never miss a video. The Chinese military has spent a lot of money on their soldiers' equipment. It is far less than America's annual spending, but it's significant. A Chinese soldier's entire kit costs $1,523, including rifles, raincoats, and helmets. A significant portion of that is just their standard issue Type 95 automatic rifle, a Chinese-made weapon worth $656. Helmets come in second with the price of $241. It's quite a basic kit and relatively inexpensive if you compare it to what most other countries have. The UK Royal Guard is perhaps the most famous of all military personnel in the world, with bright red jackets and big hats. You might think they're there for tourists, but but they have the essential job of guarding any residence the monarch is in at the moment. The iconic fuzzy hats are not just for show either. It was adopted in the 17th century when the gunners in British and French armies wore these enormous bearskin hats, so they'd look taller. It was to intimidate their opponents. Now we're not sure if this tactic will work anymore, but it hasn't stopped the palace from placing orders for these hats and they don't come cheap. These 18 attire 9 pound heavy hats cost approximately $1,178 in 2008, and that was before the price hike in 2015. Now the same hat costs $1,612. That's more than the average Chinese soldier's entire kit. And if you're buying hats for the whole Royal Guard, the total cost runs into millions in the space of seven years. The UK spent $1.32 million on just hats, called the Busby hats. These hats are made from the fur of a Canadian black bear. However, animal activists have criticized them for still using real black bear fur, since today's technology allows for alternatives. But it turns out the British Guard has experimented with synthetic fur, and it just isn't the same. For one, they lose their shape when they're in strong winds, and there are always strong winds in the north. Secondly, they get waterlogged quickly, which is not a problem with black bear fur. But do they still need the hats? Surely the secret is out. Not everyone in the British Army is six feet tall. Also in 2015, media outlets reported that the UK government was going to outfit the army with future soldier vision. The company developing this signed a deal with the military in 2015 at the cost of around $14.8 million. The vision is said to modernize the British army. The kit includes a smartwatch that tracks biometric data and helps them communicate on the field. The smart glass attaches the helmet and provides an up-to-date heads-up display on their surroundings. And it also features bone-conducting headphones to protect the ears. There's also a camera through which the commander can get tactical information from the field. And to top it all off, it has sensors that help with survivability and provide situational awareness. Now, the U.S. Army spent $132 billion between 2002 and 2017 to equip the Afghanistan Army and security forces, but that wasn't the extent of their spending on the mission. Later, John Sulpko, a Special Inspector General, found that the U.S. spent about $28 million more on just the new uniforms. Now, there's nothing wrong with outfitting your best men and women with good uniforms to protect them, but there were some issues with the design. It turned out the camouflage colors were for woodland areas and the woodland regions make up only 2.1% of the country, rendering the uniforms pointless and putting the army in real danger. And if that wasn't enough, the uniforms replaced buttons with zippers, which increased the cost even more. Researchers from the Florida Atlantic University are using advanced polymers and carbon nanotubes to create a new kind of body fabric that can be 300% as strong as what we have today and just as light. The lead investigator in the project says that the whole idea of the suit is to absorb the energy and dissipate it very quickly, so it doesn't concentrate and pierce the person inside of it, just like the Black Panther suit does. The carbon nanotubes used to make the suit are so strong and light that the researchers have talked about how they can play a role in everything from drug delivery to hypersonic weapons. The Combating Terrorism Technical Support Office has provided about $569,000 to develop a new unit. Well, I guess the U.S. Army has a smaller budget for suits in the Marvel Universe. It isn't just uniforms that the United States spends its billions on. They also spent money on creating night vision goggles and binoculars attached to the helmets for the American Army. 
The headset helps soldiers with imagery and data collected directly from the battlefield and projected onto the goggles. The headset also hooks onto the sights of the soldier's weapon and can increase accuracy in the field, allowing soldiers to attack behind the cover. The U.S. Army also spent billions to create an exoskeleton for soldiers. They call this prototype Iron Man, and while it doesn't share many of the same features as the Iron Man suit, it has the potential to increase mobility and strength on the field. By using basic robotics to enhance or multiply whatever movement the soldier is making, that means that if you throw a punch that could lightly bruise somebody, the suit would amplify it and make it so the same punch would go through thick wooden planks. Well, for now, it's being used to lift heavy equipment, food, and other military supplies. Though it could lift a rocket like it was a shotgun, it basically requires little to no effort to operate this machine. The whole unit is more of a computer than a uniform at this point. During the conflict in Iraq and Afghanistan, Troops deployed to these areas had two different uniform patterns, one for the woodland area and one for the desert. Spending that kind of money on different types of uniforms doesn't make sense. So the Universal Camouflage Pattern, or UCP, was created which would be used in various climates. It has a pixelated design, and the cost of this pattern comes to a whopping $5 billion. And it wasn't even money well spent, because the pattern didn't help soldiers blend into their surroundings. If anything, they just stood out more. Needless to say, it failed. The US Army then began to give their soldiers uniforms with a pattern called Multicam, and the UCP was discontinued. A few months later, the operational camouflage pattern was found, which is still being used by the US today. Today, the average US soldier's full outfit in combat gear cost about $17,500, just a bit more than China. Well, a lot more than China, but it's not just the military that gets the perks of tactical gear and wares. In 2020, when protests erupted after the tragedy of George Floyd's murder, gear given to police officers in America was heavily researched and questioned. They all seemed to be decked out in military gear and equipped with rubber bullets and tanks, the likes of which you've seen on the battlefield and not in the streets. After some more digging and researching later, it was revealed that the Department of Defense had been providing local law enforcement across America with second-hand military-grade weapons and vehicles since 1990. However, a third of the equipment sent to these forces looked brand new, and the cost of them is reported to be a jaw-dropping $7.4 it seems around 8,000 police forces across the country benefited from this program, and all this makes the American police force and military the most expensively equipped in the world. But if you're looking for a working exoskeleton that's closer to the Iron Man suit, you're going to have to look to Russia while some skeptics have said military exoskeletons will only ever be a thing of science fiction. Russia has come up with a modest but effective solution. We say modest, but a single unit costs more than $3,500. The suit is called Ratnik. They're simple to put on and take off thanks to a quick release button. It can relieve a soldier's load and allow them to carry out long marches and assaults while carrying more than 100 pounds of load. It's still an underpowered suit in development, but with several hundred sets already in service, incremental improvements are being made. And those are the most expensive uniforms and equipment in the world. If you found this video interesting, please do well to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more.